Hi everybody, it's Gio from Microsoft at Florida International University and today is January 15th, 2014. It's 11.01 p.m. so it's a little late. Nevertheless, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to import audio into your project. So in this video we'll effectively be importing audio assets and then using them in our game. So I started off with the layout that I previously did for the replicating object families example and I'm just going to add some audio to it so our game's a little more lively. So now I'm going to go to either the sounds or the music folder and import sounds. So you can actually import from the music folder but it's really just a classification of choice. I choose to use um, the sounds folder for sound effects. So anyways once you have the audio you just check that it's right and you can do it in whichever quality you want I usually use the lowest quality because it takes up the least memory and then I hit OK so now your sounds are in there I do not recommend deleting any of these because you may need a certain format depending on whether you're doing web or mobile applications etc so now we're gonna move to the actual input and see how these sounds get implemented so at the moment we're not able to do anything with the sounds because we do not have an audio object. So our next step is to add the audio object and we only need one in a game so just insert it one time leave the name as default since you only have one of it, it doesn't really matter too much and after that we're just going to you know add some effects to where we play this um, audio object. So we're gonna add some actions and every time you click something well every time you click a uh, one of the colors it's going to make a sound. So ideally that'll let you know that your color has been clicked, you know, as it gets destroyed and whatever. So we're going to play the cancel one. And that's the what the uh that's the the sound effect that we actually got added to our project. So now I'm just going to copy and paste this code 3 times. And that should be it. So I'm going to run this project and we're going to test it to see if it works. Alright, so my score is zero. Great, so it just made some sound effects. It's still making sound effects. And I can click my uh, click my squares without worries and it's making the sound effect I needed to. So we could also, you know, change it up if we needed to, import two more sound effects and have a different sound played depending on whichever square you click. So there's a lot of variety, a lot of customization that we can do, but I think we got working the way we need it to. So I'm gonna tell you guys, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, bye.